Pisces, hi, welcome to my channel. So today we've got a new moon in Libra reading for you. We're going to do a Celtic cross and uh, clarifiers and get a message out there. So Libra is, uh, you know, it's all about justice and bringing balance to unfairness. Um, so this new moon is all about that, it's a super moon. Uh, and just to throw a spanner in the works, because why not, 2020 is good at that. Um, Mercury, Mercury is retrograding, so communications are all over the place. And Mars is still retrograding, so tension all over the place. So that's fun, isn't it? Okay, so thank you for the likes, shares and subscribes. We've uh, reached over 2,000, which is terrific. Um, really appreciate uh, the support. As a thank you, I'm going to do a giveaway. So I'm going to choose three people at random for a free reading. Uh, to be in with a shout, you just need to like, share, subscribe and comment on one of the new Moon in Libra videos. I did screw up and forgot to tell Taurus and Gemini, so their next video of whatever next I do, I'm going to give them the opportunity to uh, comment on that video, and then I'll choose after that. Okay, but yeah, if you haven't done so already, please like uh, and, and comment. Uh, it really helps YouTube circulate the videos and ticks their algorithms and what have you. And if you want to delve into your own situation deeper, check out the description box for private readings. Okay, Pisces. What do we got for you? You didn't have any jumpers in your uh, pre-shuffle. So it's a mystery. No. One more. The tower. That's why. <laughs> They're shocking you now. Tower. Towers can be... Well, to be honest, even if a tower is absolutely horrendous, at the time, there's a reason it needs to happen. Uh, you know, everything happens for a reason, so you just got to embrace the moment and move on as best you can. Um, but some towers are good, we'll see. Right, what's crossing you? I'll lay them out first and we'll go through it. Okay. Interesting. Bottom of the deck, the King of Pentacles with the Lovers and the High Priestess. Could be healing some childhood wounds here. We've got the Five of Cups with the Six of Cups. There's something that you're channeling yourself. Uh, possibly something to do with your home life in the past. Four of Wands here. But the King of Pentacles is somebody stable, somebody ready to, for commitment. This could be you, could be a person you're dealing with. Uh, so yeah, the Tower, some something unexpected. Um, whatever it is, I kind of feel like it's going to be like... Um, uh, I'll do the American version as well as the English version. So ripping off a band head and um, ripping a plaster off. Um, it's this crossing to the eight of ones and I just uh, as soon as I saw them laid out I just saw uh, plaster just getting ripped off quickly so whatever this tower moment is it's going to be done in no time uh, the root of the matter is the ace of ones so it could be a new passion that you've come to uh, realise um, it could be a shock pregnancy you know I'm seeing here Could be a shock pregnancy with the Ace of Wands. In the recent past is the star. Something you've wished for. Because what you want is the Nine of Cups. You want a wish fulfillment. So you've wished for it. I kind of feel like it's here. Nine's obviously nine months as well. Pregnancy. Maybe. Maybe. For some of you. For some of you it's just an idea. Uh, a passionate idea you've had for quite a while. Like you want it to put into action um, and I kind of feel you do take action because the future is the devil um, and I'm, I'm not picking up addictions or anything like that I think this is taking action um, taking no prisoners really just really putting yourself first you could be dealing with a Capricorn or a Scorpio with a tower here Aquarius possibly a star uh, how you see yourself is the world. You've completed cycles. Um, 
again Capricorn energy with the well for me personally as a reader I, I Saturn rules Capricorn so I was um, say that but someone that's completed their cycles you've passed your tests uh, and you're moving you're moving forward uh, how oversee is the three of Pentacles I think somebody wants to build something with you I just don't think you're interested, Pisces, because your advice is the Four of Cups. Um, I kind of feel like saying, don't, don't look at what you've not got. Focus on what you've got. Um, so maybe there's somebody in your environment that kind of wants a bit more from you, and I, I kind of feel like you've dismissed that. And I think Spirit's saying, don't. Your future is the Seven of Swords, the Five of Swords, and the Five of Pentacles. It's a kind of a baffling outcome considering, uh, you know, relatively positive cards so far. Um, I kind of see this as a warning of not taking action on something. If you don't take action, you're just going to be left out in the cold, essentially. Let's get some clarifiers, see what's going on here. Unless this spark, this tower is the spark of the moment, this genius idea that you, you need to put into action immediately. Otherwise, it's just going to be a missed opportunity. Could be anything. If you've got any bright ideas recently, put them into action, Pisces, because um, you're just going to be frustrated with yourself, I feel, afterwards, if you don't. I kind of feel like the same, like, you know, you've passed your test. Saturn's given you this bright idea that you need to run with, but they're not going to hand it to you on a plate. You've got to work for it, is the message here. If you don't take action, it's just going to be some one big missed opportunity. I'm not going to say leave you in poverty, but you know you, the potential could be, you know, very fruitful. You know, the potential could be the King of Pentacles, the bottom of the deck here. You know, rather than the Five of Pentacles, sitting in misery. I'm not saying if you don't take action on whatever idea you're going to be sitting in misery, but I just feel like you regret not taking action. Death card at the bottom of the deck, we're doing with Scorpio with the Knight of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. For some of you, I think someone might be coming back with an offer. Um, again, it's a wish fulfillment. You know, you got the Nine of Cups here twice now. Uh, Again, Scorpio energy with a tower, it could be a Scorpio, is with a two of cups. This could be a person, to be honest, Pisces. Um, Scorpionic energy here. Crossing use the eight of wands um, with the nine of swords. I kind of... So communication is going to come in from this person, I feel. It's going to be out of the blue. And it's going to give you a bit of a nightmare. Root of the matter is the Ace of Wands with the Ace of Swords. When I get the Ace of Swords clarifying um, anything, uh, it's Spirit backing me up saying I was right. So this is a brand new, for some of you it's pregnancy. Um, nines again. Could be, it very easily could be an unexpected pregnancy here. In the past, we've got the star uh, with the Eight of Cups, this is you going in search of, of your truth, your, your your wants, your needs. Um, some of you could be seeking actual stardom, as in 
fame. Um, so good luck if you are. What you want is a nine of cups with the queen of wands. You want confidence, you want wish fulfillments, you want um, passion in life. Uh, just to feel good all round. The future is the devil with the... Um, so in my deck there was two extra ones. There was um, just for artwork. I left them in there purely for... Uh, this spoke to me. One was sort of ancestral and one was true love. So I left it in the true love card. Um, because the lovers can be Gemini, it can be options, it can be true love. Whereas this, for me, is undoubted. It's two people embracing the seven doves, seven white doves for, you know, divinely guided with the devil. So your true love could be could be a Capricorn or it could be just someone that really brings the lustiest side out of you. <laughs> um, and uh, this person is all, all, also could be, you know, it is true love, but it, also, it could be a karmic partner as well. So they may have put you through the ringer in the past. Um, you know, if it has been a bit of a rocky relationship, but I think genuinely deep down it is true love. How you see yourself is the world in the nine of pentacles. Perfect. You've done your completions. You're financially independent. You're feeling good. You're looking good. Fantastic. How other see you is the three of pentacles with the hangman. So this is your energy, the hangman. But I kind of feel like people are looking at you differently now, They're seeing you from a different perspective. Taking you seriously, if possible. Your advice is the Four of Cups uh, and the Six of Pentacles. I, I think this is basically saying... For some of you... You were breadcrumbed in the past by this person. And it's something that you constantly think about. Maybe it's a case of just giving this person a chance. Uh, I'm going to take another card there. Let's bring it back into balance with the devil. Yeah, I think this person's, um, you could be dealing with a Capricorn. Um, I kind of feel like they may have been very selfish in the past. Um, but I kind of feel like they, they want, they've changed or they want to change and they're coming back. You know, the death card at the bottom of this deck, it's all about change and transformations. This person could have done a, a real. 360, you know. Um, oh, you're back to the same place, are you? 180. <laughs> I get worse. Um, you know, they've, um, they've, they've, they've done the work. You know, so fair play to them, even if you don't sort of take them back. You know, they've, they've, they've done the work. Um, six and the and the 15, you know, adds to the... One and five is six, so you've got 66 here. Um, could be seeing 66 a lot. The Seven of Swords, uh, Five of Swords and the Five of Pentacles is clarified by the Two of Wands, the Page of Wands and the Ten of Swords. This is, uh, you're at a crossroads to make a decision. You just don't know which way to turn, which how to strategize with this person, this message that's coming from this person. It's going to be out of the blue. It could well be a, um, uh, an unexpected pregnancy for some of you. Definitely. The Page of Wands here as well. So look, pages, we've got aces, uh, unexpected news, uh, dealing with two people, you know. There's a lot of elements. Uh, there's nines here as well. Better news. Five of Pentacles with the Ten of Swords. I think this is an end to feeling left out in the cold. The end of poverty. Uh, the end of struggles. Let's take another card for that. In fact, I'll just take one for the whole six. Just one for to summarise the lot. With a page of ones again. Again. The message is going to come in. And I think it's just going to bring. An end to not knowing what. Maybe an end to not knowing what happened. Um, possibly just clarity on a situation. I'm going to take one more phone. Ten of pentacles. Yeah. End of poverty. So end of. The end of the five of pentacles. It's bringing in the Ten of Pentacles. There could be a serious commitment from this person. Maybe it's some this message is going to be a commitment. Uh, someone that was really shy of it, very selfish in the past with the devil here. Uh, they're coming in with a serious offer of commitment. And they're very financially stable. Interesting, Pisces. So we have very, very strong Capricorn energy. We have very, very strong Scorpio energy. We have... 
uh, Aquarius, Pisces, Gemini. But we've got pentacles, we've got swords, we've got wands, we've got cups. Everybody's here, but those are your standouts. So there you go. Um, you're going to get a very, very unexpected message and possibly an unexpected pregnancy. So if you don't, if you don't want children just yet, or you don't want any more, be careful. Okay, look after yourselves, Pisces. Thank you for following the channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye.